Hey guys, how's it going? It's X666X Iron Maiden, and we are finally, finally, to the most requested Galnera song that uh, we've had. And it's a long time coming. I'm sorry it takes so long to get to songs now, but there's so many requests, guys. It takes so long to get to songs now, and I apologize, but unfortunately, it's the only way that uh, we can do this. Anyway. This is going to be Whisper in the Red Sky. This is live 2007. All right, guys, we already know that I fell in love with these guys right after we did the first song with them, which was what it was, Angel. I, I think there's more to the title than Angel, but that was part of the part of the the title uh it's been a while since we've done that one so of course i've forgotten the name by now uh, yeah it's finally time for whisper in the red sky i'm pumped you guys suggested it so many times that of course when i finally get to it i'm i'm super excited here we go Oh, yeah. The singer's talented, but I don't know if I like his voice. This is a different guy from the other ones I think we've done.
You got a lot of talent, though. I just don't know if I, I think it just personally I think his voice might not be something I enjoy. Theo is still an amazing guitarist though. Oh, that was sweet. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Oh, man. That's fucking cool though. Oh, a monster guitarist. Maybe he just needs to grow on me for his vocals, because there's parts that I like and then other parts that I don't like him. He's such an amazing guitarist, that's crazy. That was sweet. All right, I'm gonna cut it there. The only thing that's getting my attention right now is that I'm not 100% sure if I actually like his vocals. I think it was Yama B, if I read correctly. Yeah, yeah, it's Yama B. Um, okay. 
let's see here. Because this is the live in 2007. And I'm curious what I'm going to do right quickly. I'm going to click on the live in 2012 version, which I do believe is with uh, the other uh, singer, which I can't remember. I can't remember his name. What was it? Uh, it was, uh, ah, Masatoshi Sho Ono. Um, I just want to hear the difference of this song between the two. And that'll tell me all I need to know. Uh, we're not going to do the whole song, in case we're not going to do two, so the same song twice. But, I want to hear this right quick. Uh, I think it's already this one's a better version. He doesn't even have to say any lyrics, just his voice alone. Alright. I could stop it because I already know. Yamabe's vocals just don't do it for me. It's not the same. I know he's the original guy and all that, or possibly the original guy. There might have been someone before him. I'm not sure. But uh, Masatoshi's vocals, just for me, are just beats and blows him out of the water. He's, his vocal capability is going that much higher, and just how much cleaner his vocals sound, it just it just blows it out of the water for me. Because um, Yamabe's vocals, they're... they're they're like 50-50 for me. Sometimes I liked it, sometimes I didn't. It just depended on the part of the song we were on, basically, that made the difference for me. So, other than that, everything else was amazing. Uh, obviously, I've already established that the band is amazing. It, it, it's a great fucking band. Uh, great J-Metal band. Uh, speaking of Japanese, I want to thank all of you... Japanese viewers that I have you guys are the guy the people watching me the most out of any place in the world with uh, The USA being right behind you guys, but you guys are the people that watch my videos the most I'm gonna assume it's because I'm doing a bunch of bands from Japan and you guys seem to be enjoying it So thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying uh, You know someone in North America checking out some of your guys' stuff I know I've been loving it. I've been loving learning your guys, your guys' style of metal and rock. Uh, it's been a blast, and I'm glad that we're gonna keep doing it. And uh, we have plenty of other bands too from uh, from Japan to check out. That's coming in the future. It's a little ways off on the list, but we'll, it, it means in the future at least we'll be coming back to it. So yeah, that was a, it. Was a great song. It's just Yama B is not. His voice is just not not appealing as much to my ears is the only thing it is uh, and that's just personal preference it's not because he's a really bad singer because he he can obviously sling, sing like I said his his ability is there it's just I don't like the voice it just doesn't appeal to my ears it doesn't fit as well uh, in my opinion so I'm glad that they actually did switch and for me I'm glad they switched to an even better vocalist in my opinion and uh, glad we have more to check as well but we are going to check out some other videos with Yama B as well there is some other uh, live ones um, with him that we're going to check out anyway because you know I always give everybody a chance uh, for sure I'm not going to just say he sucks and move on I, I, I give I give things a chance so we'll be back to see more in the future uh, maybe soon if I'm correctly on the list but I'm not sure anyway Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to see more from me. And as always, you guys have a good one.